What's going on, champions? Larry635135 coming to you live. Hope everyone's having a great day. If you'll notice, the background still says spring outbreak, but we are in the revenge of the NWO event. Today, taking on the open mode tour with none other than this guy right here, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You'll see we've got Jim Duggan at four star gold. We're going to be running him with the yellow, red, red move set, the leaping shoulder block, the old glory, and the scoop slam. Essentially, you run those two red moves. Bunch of yellow on the board fills up that yellow move, which helps you to recharge your red. It destroys four columns. To get it done for our trainers, we're going to be using Sting so that our red moves start with more MP. We're going to be using Dolph Ziggler so both of those red moves create more yellow. And then we'll be running x Xbox and Rikishi to get more red and yellow, respectively. First opponent is 7.7k Xbox. Let's go do a bit. As we do, do not forget to drop an elbow on that thumbs up button. Let me know you all are enjoying the content. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an upload or live stream. We were live last night. Went live and looked at some of the blitzes and the prizes that you could get in them. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. The chat was not popping off last night. I guess everybody was blitzing. We did not get a red match on turn one or turn two, so we're going to be dependent on Sting to help us out here in this first match. We get hit by the missile drop kick and suffer an early pinfall. Get out no problems. Run the old glory here. That's going to generate eight random yellows on the board. Make a nice little cascade. Get some red and some yellow in the process. If we don't cause a pinfall here, or if we don't get a pinfall victory, we're going to have to hit get hit by this Bronco Buster. does is uh, exactly what I thought it would. Wow, still going, still going. The crazy cascades have been wild here recently. I don't know if they uh, edited something in the game or in the code, but man. Go ahead and hit the leaping shoulder block and end it by destroying all of the loot crates on the board. Hopefully this is the longest match of the lot. Two, three. Let's see if we get that red match. The downside about using somebody like Hacksaw is since they have so much health, you can easily use up a lot of health packs. Up next is Shinsuke. Right at 9k. No red again. But we get lucky when a small cascade and we do pick it up. Which means both of our red are ready. The scoop slam allows us to choose up to 10 black gems into yellow, but it only affects black gems. Uh, at least that takes some away from the possibility of us getting hit by those. We do call the pinfall. It's not going to be enough. The moves still aren't ready to go. And our leaping shoulder Brock is missing one. So we're going to have to suffer through one of his moves. It's 
going to be the knee drop where he's going to generate power gems, a 2x3 area. Shouldn't matter much to us because now the match is over. Got our 1500 premiere tickets. And on to the next one. So we go up against Vince McMahon at 11K, 11.4K. This has the potential to get ugly because I need yellow. He needs yellow. That means there's probably going to be a plethora of yellow. And his yellow moves cause things to go bang. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We do get a red match on turn one. Unfortunately, he does take some yellow away from us. Go ahead and hit that scoop slam. Generate seven yellow gems this time. That's how many blacks there were. Now the old glory knee drop. Probably going to cause a pinfall. It does. So plenty of yellow on the board, so he kicks out easily. He's going to hit us with the big boot. Turn a bunch of those loot crates into glass gems. Now do we go about recharging or do we destroy those? We do a little bit of both. Again, an easy kick out for Vince because he is a striker. He is going to get us into a pinfall just because of those blast gems. But have no fear, we should be able to end the match on this turn. And a single match should do it. Okay. So there we are. Now we've got to find him a tag team partner, but it's got to be somebody that we're not going to need to tag in. So we use somebody that's fairly low tier, I suppose. I do not have my um, Fandango leveled up, so I might go ahead and use him. He is four star, so he's going to have a little bit more health and a little more punching power in case we do need to tag him in. But I don't think we will up against Scott Hall and NWO Big Kev, Kevin Nash. You're way down here. I didn't realize he was this unleveled. But that should be enough. No moveset or trainers we're going to show on him because we're not going to use him. We're going to count on Duggan to do all the work, to pull all the weight. And this is Duggan without a tag link of any sort as well. So we get that red match, plenty of black on the board to convert into yellow. So we will go ahead and do that. Missed one at the bottom, but that's okay. No big deal. We'll run the old glory. As we drop the knee, yellow will begin to generate. I'm gonna cause a pinfall, which he should be able to get out of, and he does. And now we will do the leaping shoulder block and destroy four columns. And you can do this every two or three turns, especially if you get enough red on the board.
and he has no chance. One, two, so that was actually supposed to be the hardest match, and it was the easiest match. But you'll see that's what happens when you get those red matches up front. We get our Victory Tour Blitz ticket. We'll be using those later on. As always, thank you so much for staying tuned till this part of the video. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss an upload. And as always, until next time, I'll see you then.